That wind is murdering it, it's fine, but it is, I think, gone nowhere. Welcome back to every shot of a 10 handicappers round. Today we are at Moor Park, which is one of the best courses in Hertfordshire. It's absolutely lovely here. If I was living close enough, I would become a member because the clubhouse is insane. The courses are brilliant. Um, I've played the high course three times, which I think is their like premium course. That's what most people come here to play. But the West course is apparently absolutely fantastic as well. So that's what we're doing today. We are playing with Pierce, who uh, I caught up with on TikTok, and then his mate Fenton as well. We've got a little stable food competition going on. And uh, yeah, this should be interesting. The only issue is, he's blowing an absolute gale, guys. He's literally blowing a gale. Can't really see what's going on with the green. Wind is off the left a little bit. Ball's beneath my feet slightly. It was just a really nice thing. Still really focusing on that visualization that we've been doing for the last couple of weeks, guys. It's been really working for me, so. Well, that is not, I have not managed to visualize that well. Hit that and slow down. Okay. Um, I finned it through the back. <laughs> not great. I am gonna try and get the drone out. It's just a little windy, so i um, worried that it's gonna get knocked off course. More park is actually built right on the top of a hill next to Watford, so uh, you get all of the elements. You're exposed to all of the wind. Delicate chip, this one, I think. Bring it in on the right side. All right, slow down now. Put the brakes on. It's not bad. 12 foot for par. See if we can roll it in. Oh, I didn't turn. All right, fair enough. It's going to be a bogey. There we go. All right, we've got par three here. It's pretty dodgy because it's straight into wind. 188 yards to pin it. It's downhill though, so we're going to hit six iron. See what we can do. I've fatted the living hell out of that. <laughs> this is where I feel embarrassment because I've just sent the drone up. Right, okay, let's see if we can make up for our past errors. An 80 shot. That's all right. Sit there. Yep. Yeah. We've got a chance at par. Very outside chance. 30 foot up the hill. It's going to swift a little bit to the left. That's turned completely the opposite direction to the way I read it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dived. That's a double. That is not very good. Got par four here, loads of bunkers. Keep it up the left. Oh, my GoPro just turned off literally as I took the shot. So the camera turned off just as I was taking the shot, landed left side of the fairway, rolled all the way down into the bunker over there. So yeah, thought I played it far enough left. Yeah, so here's the bunker I was talking about. About 100 to the pin. Got a 50 degree in hand. It's out. I might even be putting. I oh, know I caught it thin, so it's gone out the back, but that's fine by me. All right, let's see if we can make an up and down here. Oh my God, so thick. I mean, it's what it's trying. <laughs> That'll be the, the best worst shot you've ever seen. I barely want to touch it after seeing that. It's further away than when I started. What a moment. There you go, bogey. I mean, I didn't really deserve much more after that. Terrible, terrible chip, but yeah, it would have been nice to get away with one. We'll keep on working. We need some objectives though. I'll tell you my objectives after I hit this tee shot because it might change what I'm going to try and do. Um, 188 to the pin here. I've been told to hit it up the right side because it all feeds that way. So. Caught it fat again. Not a very good shot either. Hmm. Yeah, so gone from hitting it really well yesterday to barely being able to hit it at all today. So Pierce has said that one of my objectives should be to break 80. Par is 69, so that would mean 10 over, very much like last week, uh, which we did manage to do. If you didn't check that video out, please do. So I'm going to I'm gonna add it on. Go on then, break 80. We're going to go for it. I'm also going to want to shoot 
two birdies. Apparently it's quite scorable on the back nine. So yeah, there's that one. And same as last week, I'm gonna go for two up and downs. I mean, we had a good opportunity there and we squandered it. So let's see if we can get a few more. If you want a bunker play, well, you've got it. Not ideal, I won't lie. I mean, that is pretty appalling. I mean, it's on, we're putting, so we can be happy on that front. All right, this is a wild one. It's gonna turn so far to my left. Trying. Yeah, I thought it might just give it a bit more oomph, but it didn't. No, we need to get the putter rolling, or otherwise we're gonna have a really bad day here. There we go, right. It's a good bogey save, but it's still not a great score. We've got a dog leg left, par four here. One of the harder on the course. Little stinger, <laughs> unintentional stinger. It'll run though. Hopefully that putt on the last is gonna ignite our round, guys. That's what I'm hoping for here, because we need to get things moving. We're already five over. So this would be a good one to par. Uh, we've got quite a way into the flag, so let's hit one up there. Gonna hit a six iron here. Uh, we got 180 yards into the pin. Always a little bit above my feet. Try and draw it in a little bit, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's trying, it's just so thin and so bad. Goes to show what a swingy game golf really is because the round you saw last week was literally yesterday for me. So we're talking about less than 24 hours between the rounds and now I haven't managed to find the centre of an iron the entire time we've been playing. I keep thinking we've only just started the round but we're actually on hole five so we need this thing to start coming together quickly. All right, now I've got 40 yards to the pin, play it up to the right. God, I'm not getting a good lie here, am I? Hilly nature of the course, I guess. Sit there. Oh, still running. Holy smokes, it's quick. All right, 24 foot. I've smashed it. What is going on? These are scary, scary greens. They really are. Oh, oh my God, it's still not in. <laughs> okay. We made it, it's a double, pretty bad. We're changing the objective by the way, guys. We are going to change the break 80 because that's just not gonna happen. It can be a secret objective. We're gonna change it to no more free putts. I want to, I want free putt at all more today, none. This is saying 160, playing 150 with wind. God knows how much wind. Gonna hit a lot of club here just to make sure it gets there. That's good. Looks good anyway. Wow, my, pier, my six iron's got 140 yards. I'm just gonna bump this one into the slope and let it run up. Ah, check too hard. Not very good. Don't come down for the love of God. Well, still haven't made the par. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. All right, just when a man needs a par, we have uh, gone on to the hardest hole on the course. It's a 457 yard par four. Driver's out. I've been reliably informed that it's open. There's no way you can lose your ball. So. That's not gonna be very, just clip the tree. Squeeze through, didn't it? Okay. That's why I don't hit driver very often because it's trash. We just ended up on the uh, right hand side here. Um, we've got 215 to the pin. Um, it's very downwind, it's very downhill. I think a six will get there as long as I just make good contact. Got to try and keep it on the right hand side. Hopefully this isn't going to come out too high because I don't want it to hit those trees in front of me. Came out too high, but it's going to work. Don't kick left. I'm trying. It's bounding down there. I mean, it's on the green. Don't go in the bunker. Sit there. Yeah, all right, we're on the fringe, which ain't too bad for this hole. It's very, very long. I mean, if you're going to get a par on any hole, might as well make it the hardest hole on the course, isn't it? Got to give him a few more beans. It's not getting in there. Hit the floor and it's worked out. 
I literally jammed the floor before I touched the ball. So that's uh, the most scuffed up and down par first of the round that you'll ever see on the hardest hole. <laughs> it's like, easy how does that, easy three points. <laughs> All right, uh, another longish par four, but we're still downwind, so at least that's something. Although the wind feels like it's swirling a bit now. I think that's the best shot of the day for me. It's got a lot of wind. Uh, it's 202 yards to the pin. I want it to run up, so I'm going to hit a six iron. That is so hideous. I don't know what's happened. I literally had one of the best rounds of my entire life yesterday, and now I'm just scamming my way around the course. I've almost made the green. It's a funny old game, isn't it? I don't know what's going on. Felt so good yesterday. Maybe I slept funny. Maybe it's that I'm carrying today. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's annoying. But you can't be mad. It's a beautiful course. Sun, blue skies. I mean, look at the clubhouse down here. Look at that. That's outrageous. Outrageous clubhouse. 26 yards to the pin. It's coming up and up flyer. It's probably going to fly up a little bit higher. So let's have a feel of this rough. Oh my God. Having a stinker. It's always a chance to redeem yourself, isn't there, I guess. Played it again. Oh, I am actually, I, I need talking to myself. I've knocked it off the green again. It's actually gone off the green again. Oh my God, it's literally right off the back. What are you doing? Just get me off the hole. All right, it's over. Thank God, let's move on to the next hole. All right, hey guys, just when I thought I needed some love from the course, we've turned up to hole number nine, which is a 244 yard par three. How is it SI 13? It's into wind. That's outrageous. Trying. I don't think it's got the legs, to be honest. Yeah, it's not got the legs. All right. Got 30 yards to this pin here. Oh my God, I've done it again. I think because I'm trying to defend against blading it, I'm now actually physically blading it. I'm about to put together the worst nine hole score I think I've had ever on the channel. The grass is different here, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Different kind, you guys got different kind of grass here. <laughs> That's better. Actually hit one. Flipping heck, what is going on? All right, okay. At least part is doing all right, I guess. At this stage, our round can't really get worse. We just carded a plus 13 on the front, so uh, not the finest of goals. But let's see if we can shoot five over on the back and redeem ourselves a little bit. Um, got a drivable par four to start. That is a bit left. It's trying to turn right though. Might be in the bunker. I oh, know, look at that. It's running, filtering. Don't think it's got the energy to get there though. Let's try and stick one close. We've got 32 yards to pin here. That's better. Sit. Oh, they are fast. Wow. It's almost gone off the back. I thought I played that perfectly. Right, 33 footer up the hill. That's why we take it out. Get there! Oh, you little... It's all right. Thank you, sir. It's only my second of the round. Should be rejoicing. We've got out of bounds up the uh, right hand side on this one, so... Don't hit it there, basically. Let's see uh, how long short of it. Oh, I've topped it. Oh, we've all had one now. The group is suffering. <laughs> Hit an iron up, hopefully get close and then get up and down maybe. Weirder things have happened. No, that is, what is that hit? <laughs> oh, this is really the reality of 10 handicap golf. You go from having the round of your life and feeling like nothing can go wrong to literally topping your way around a golf course. It really is. 
I think I think this is the thing. Like people expect like an, a a ten handicap to be shooting near the handicap every time, but I think you're actually supposed to shoot as close to your handicap block like one in every five. I would say your handicap's made up of the best eight scores that you put in your last twenty rounds. Um, so, for instance, my handicap there are only two scores that are actually below my handicap. Uh, the rest are all kind of around my handicap, and then there's obviously loads that are miles and miles over. So, yeah, not sure where I'm going with this, but golf really is, it can make you a head case. I won't lie, it can make you a head case. I think this is just like hit and hope fill this. I got a five. I'm just gonna choke down and just hope it goes up there because realistically, I can't see shit. Okay. That worked out a lot better than I was expecting. I can't believe it cleared the trees. I can't believe it didn't hit the tree in front of me. I guess I'm not really trying to protect anything at this point, am I? I'm not like trying to protect some PB score that I'm potentially gonna to get today. Well, I won't lie. I'm a man who's not really had very much success around the greens today. So to find myself with a bunker between me and the pin, got me kind of terrified. I just caught the fringe and not boosted a little, but it's good. Chance of an up and down. Okay, I think this is just going to turn a little bit. <sighs> it's a hard life. Back to the old trusty hybrid, I think. Very tight, par five. It's the first one of the day as well. That'll do. All right, well, it says with the wind that I could get there in two. I don't think I really can. I've got a five iron. It's about 205 away. It's coming off a down slope, so it's going to be not ideal. Air it out to the right a little bit. That's not the cleanest strike. Just don't go in the bunker on that left side. Oh, my God, it just hit the cart path and went straight in. It was never getting there if it didn't hit the <laughs> cart path. We've got absolutely no one favourite shot here. 59 yard bunker shot. Stick it close to come Bryson to Shambo. All right, well, it's out. And yes, I touched the sand before I swung, but I'm a high handicapper. You've got to allow it. 40 yards to the pin here. Christ, I'm a five. It's been hard. It's a bit there. Oh my God, it just keeps rolling. Like, I just don't understand. Close, but now I've got a really long one coming back up the hill. All right, saved it just. Me and Fenton are actually just discussing this course and how people come here thinking it'll be easier than the high course. But we've decided that the high course is actually the big brother and this is the problem child of a course. It's just really tricky. It's actually right next to Tricky Ricky, one of the most diabolical courses I've ever played in my life. They literally run next to each other, so. That's the first good swing of the day, holy smokes. I bet it goes miles out the back now. Shit. I've got a legit birdie chance, no way. All right, well, I thought it was a legit birdie chance, guys, but it turns out that I've got the mother of all breakers here. God knows what's gonna happen. No doubt I'm gonna tap it and leave it about 30 meters short, but here we go. Look at that, I've tapped it, come on. <laughs> this course is impossible, and I'm about to get a three putt, which I've said I didn't want to do for the rest of the day. 18 foot for par, and to not three putt. Ah, had the right line, and just didn't quite hit it. All right, it's a four, got a par five. I feel like I made a mistake on the last one, not hitting driver. Uh, so we're going to hit it now and just see if it all if it works out really. All right, do the job. I don't think I caught all of it. Nah, it's a mile back, but we're trying. It's up there. All right, let's cross some objectives off, guys. The three part that we replaced breaking 80 with is dead. Get it gone. Two birdies. I'm tempted to cross it off now. 
even though we've still got some time left. We still need to get another up and down though to complete that. That's like the only one I think that we might be able to do. But the way I'm chipping right now, maybe not. Just gonna lay up here. Um, it is a tricky hole, so playing it up the right hand side. Oh, I've actually started to find my swing, thank God. All right, hopefully that is good. Yeah, right spot? All right, perfect apparently. Right, we have got 80, 80 yards to this pin. Oh my God, it took a bad bounce that. Yeah, on, GIR. We've now got about 60 foot up the hill. Did not see it breaking that way. All right, chance at par. What the f was that? Oh my God. It's like I've never played golf before in my life. Well, at least we saved the four part. Still hasn't happened on the channel to date. It will happen though. I'm just that rubbish. 422 yards into wind, par four. <laughs> I mean, it was an unintentional draw around the tree. It's worked perfectly. Yeah, not ideal. Long way in, about 200 yards. Got a four iron, see if I can chase one up there. Chopped it out. It's running. You might just about scamper to the front edge. If you can't tell, it's hella windy. Like, hella windy. Um, but that doesn't excuse today's performance. Um, realistically the wind hasn't part, played any part in my game because I've not really got the ball off the floor for the entire round but to go back to what I was saying earlier it really does demonstrate that kind of like swingy nature of golf like we've gone from shooting one of our best rounds in a long long time uh, last week's video yesterday <laughs> to shooting a, a well a massive score on a course that I don't want to say is easy but should be easier than I'm making it like I've chipped terribly I have putted not particularly well the greens are rapid this wind has obviously dried them off it's middle of summer and they are rapid some of the putts where I've hit them and they've gone a mile past I've been like genuinely flabbergasted but if you have made it to this part of the video you are one of the real ones thank you very much for watching subscribe if you are new I know about 90% of the people who watch these videos are not so help the channel out drop a like all that jazz. Let me know how your golf is going this summer. Is it trending in the right direction or is it falling off a cliff? I want to know. All right, we've got a mere 22 to the pin. Maybe we could get that up and down. Check off one of our objectives. Just think about where you're going to land this. Yeah, terrible contact, but it's kind of worked. Ah. I would have liked to have parred that one. All right, it's a five. Right, effectively, we've got the same hole. It's just downwind this time. Slightly shorter as well. Oh, that is a little sally, a little run. Didn't chase very hard, did it? <laughs> I can't say I'm overly surprised, to be honest. What do we always say? A bad round of golf is better than stay in the office, that's for sure. Outrageously, I might actually be able to get there. Got to hit a five iron. Well. Nope, that will not do it. All right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Don't think there's really all that much to say anymore. Let's just finish this off and get it in the clubhouse. Yep, okay. I tricked you all. Realistically, I'm just doing this so I've got a chance to get up and down. I think I've got too much on that spin. Sit, 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 sit. Can you believe it? It's off the back. I pulled it so badly. The worst thing is I thought I'd left it short and it's like, five foot past. 
Oh dear, six. I think the saying is putting together a cricket score. 267 yard par four, straight over the bunker. <laughs> Get lucky, bounce hard. Yep, that was very lucky. All right, here we go, 75 yards to the pin. Oh, turned it over, straight into the bunker. All right, up and down from there. Brilliant. <laughs> Just don't think my body is responding. I feel like no matter what I do here, this will go past the pin. I can literally tap it an inch, it'll go past the pin. Just kidding. Oh, hello. Nope. All right, we've got dog leg to the left. Good view of the clubhouse. Sun's just peeped out as well, which is nice. Wind's still raging. No, oh, that's dead, isn't it? We'll find it. You know me, I love a bit of drama. One last drama shot. Got to take this up and over the corner of the tennis courts, which are behind this hedge. Um, 100 yards to pin, got to get over this tree as well. Um, <laughs> All right, come on, Tom. Think about how this is going to get up over that tree, eh? That could be really good. I guess we'll see when we get over there. Oh, they're clapping. It's good. It's good. We've done something good. Don't bother rating my game this week, guys. It's been an absolute travesty today. Go back and watch last week's if you missed it, if you want to see me actually playing well. It's just unbelievable how things can fluctuate so much. I don't know. I mean, we are talking about millimetres and we're talking about milliseconds. Oh, just before we finish, ball watch. I got you guys. Don't get myself stung. Little, little Callaway number. What is that? Chrome Soft. Is that their best ball? I think that's their best ball. Got one for the camera there. All right, it's really good. We have a legit chance at birdie to finish off the round. Nah, tapped in, it's gone 20 foot past again. <laughs> Come on, finish with a par. And I have, outrageous. All right, thank you very much, boys. Well Appreciate it. Absolute pleasure to play with you both. And uh, big shout out to this ball, which has actually survived the entire round. It's literally scuffed to anything. So yeah, shout out to that. Not shout out to my score though, that was rubbish. If you want to see another video from me though, click right here.